okay today we'll go to say hatios hatios first we're going to say what is hatios what is the use of hatios okay are you able to hear my voice right yes sir. we are hearing you okay are you able to see my fb page facebook page yes sir yes 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 So this is my one of the post, right? Um, this is my one of the post. If you see this post, you can see in this post, you can see some people are likes, some people shares, 31 shares, and there are a uh, few more likes. The main content is the post. This is my main content. For this content, there is uh, some uh, likes and uh, shares. So this, uh, this type of uh, content is called as a hat use. For example, uh, I want to fetch some data. I want to fetch some data. Part of the data, I want to also show related to the data. I want to show related to that data. If you want to implement like this, we have to use Hatios library in Spring Boot application. In Spring Boot, we have to use Hatios library to achieve this kind of content. If you want to generate this kind of content, we need to use a Hatios. Whenever I, I want to fetch some resource from the server, along with that resource, I want to fetch some resource which is related to the my main resource. Okay. This is called as a <clears throat> hypermedia of the engine of application state. Hypermedia of the engine of application state, it's a hat use. Okay. Now my, my intention is I want to create a one product. I want to create a one product. Then I'll adding a product. Okay. Uh, whenever buy the product, whenever buy the product, uh, by the customer, customer may give the review reviews for the product and the likes for the product. Okay. I want to fetch product. I want to fetch product. Along with that product, I want to get the reviews as well as the likes for the product. That example is going to say how to achieve this using Hatios. We don't have to write any additional code if you are going to use Hatios. If you want to fetch this kind of resource, I want to fetch some data. Along with the data, I want to fetch some additional data. For this, we, we need to write some bunch of code. We need to write a bunch of code. We need to implement some bunch of logic through that we can achieve. But in the, if you are going to use Hatios, we don't have to do that much logic. There is a, some API we need to use to achieve to construct this kind of a, a resource. Okay. <clears throat> This is my project. In this project, I created a three entity object customer likes, customer review, and a product. Customer likes, customer review, and a product. Then, for these three entities, there is a three repository classes customer likes repository, customer review repository, and a product repository. Product repository. Okay. In the application normal file, I am using uh, on db training hyphen db. Let's check that. I am using a correct DB. Yeah, I am going to remove all the table now. Then for this repository class, I created a three. Um, yeah, two service class, I think. Yeah, two service class, customer service and a product service. Customer service and a product service. Then I have a two controller, customer controller, product controller. When you look at customer controller, there is a two endpoint, add customer likes, add customer reviews. Using this endpoint, I can add a new likes. I can add a new likes. This save likes will go to the service class. The, from the service class save likes method, I'm calling a customer likes repository.save. Okay, through this, I can save some likes, customer likes to the data, database table. Through this save review, I can save some review to the uh, customer review uh, in customer comment table. I keep it as a customer comment, uh, customer comment, I think. Yeah, it's a customer comment table. Okay, then product service. will come from product controller. The product controller, I'm creating on product. I, I, I can create a product through the add product method, add product endpoint. This will call the service class. 
from the service class i am calling this a uh, product repository to save save the product uh, uh, data in the product table then there is a two endpoint i declared here one is customer reviews for the product customer likes for the product in the product controller there is a two endpoint see here um, customer slash review reviews means it will fetch all the customer reviews it will fetch all the customer reviews uh, customer service dot get all reviews I am calling customer review repository dot find all. It will return all the reviews. Then customers slash likes get customer likes. Here I am saying customer service dot get like count. I want to get only like count. How many likes? Um, how many likes coming from uh, likes available for the product? When I click here, get likes count customer likes repository dot count. And the the repository our class we have one method called count method. That count method return how many rows available inside the customer likes table okay that return a count that return return that uh, count return a uh, customer service customer customer service class then that customer service i am calling in a product controller so this two two endpoint used for getting the customer use getting the customer likes okay then is a third method third method for implementation of hat use i will explain that later first we will going to work the basic functionality is working properly or not in this project okay then i will going to explain this particular method i will going to start the application now we don't have a any table here Your table got created. See, your table got created. Table created. Three tables are created. Now I want to add some product. For product, adding a product, we'll go, we, are go, we are using API slash products. Okay. I must now use this. Yeah. The product having a three attribute, uh, four attribute, uh, ID, product name, for description, and the price. Okay. I'm going to send a request. I got the success response. So one product added okay one product is added going to add one more product two products added Now I want to add a review, some reviews. For that, we need to use customer controller. Customer control, we have two endpoint. One is likes. API customers slash likes. API customers slash reviews. Customer likes. I am going to add customer likes now. Cool, like is a cool, then react, then love. So, three different likes I have added. See the likes. Yeah, three different, three likes are available now. Then I want to add some review. I'm going to add a review now. It is in comment table, customer comment. One review is added. Then K7. Very nice product. Two reviews added here. Okay. 
now i want to fetch one product whenever fetch this product i want to tell how many likes for this product i want to tell how many comment uh, given by the customer i want to give this information i want to give this information for that i'll going to use a hatios library now go to the controller class in a product controller there is a one endpoint implementer get mapping product id get mapping product id whenever pass a product id that product id available in the parameter path parameter then it's available in a uh, the variable okay through this parameter i'm accessing the product id in this variable then product service dot get product id from the product service i am uh, i am using a product id method this method return uh, this method calling the repo product repository dot find by id find by id of product id this will return product object this will return product object that product object available in the product controller endpoint here that product object available here okay now once i get the product object next step is i want to i want to add additional information to that product additional information to that product okay we have a one class called entity model in the hatio library okay hatio cl is coming from here okay i am using that api then i want to i am passing product so i, I want to add a product right in this model i want to add a product i may i am call it as a it's a resource i call it as a resource this entity model um having a uh, having one parameter type called product generic parameter type called product that meaning i want to add only product in this entity model i make it as that variable as a resource resource then entity model of product if you say entity model of product this product added to the this entity model now this resource variable having a one product called the resource variable is having a product one product data okay then i am checking if product equal to equal to null uh, throw this exception throw the exception this normally will do okay next step is i want to add i want to add some additional information to this resource object which is relevant to this product which is relevant to this product <coughs> here web mec link builder this api coming from hatios web mec link builder reviews link reviews link is a object type of mec link builder then link to link to is a static method which is coming from web mec builder which is coming from web mec builder i am calling that method again method on also static method coming from web mec link builder okay using this method method on using this method on method i am saying this dot class this dot class this dot class then dot get customer reviews i am saying this dot class means my, i am referring my product controller from that product controller take get customer reviews endpoint take customer reviews endpoint what is the get customer reviews endpoint this is a get customer reviews endpoint this endpoint is a, what is that api slash product slash customer slash reviews this is the endpoint to call this method right whenever you refer this method from this current class it will generate this kind of endpoint it will generate this kind of endpoint that is that is get gift customer reviews get the generate the endpoint for get customer reviews api that is finally the output could be will be local loft 8080 slash api products slash customer slash reviews that will generate under assign that value to review links object reviews links object then i generated the link now for that link i need to create a one title for that link i need to create a one title right then i am saying resource.add resource.add i am adding the 
adding this particular uh, link i am adding this particular resource.app review links add this review link add this review link to the resource while adding i am saying with rel reviews reviews is the title of this particular link title of this particular link now up to this line i added one resource to the product a resource is nothing but product right i had already added a product to the resource in that resource adding an additional resource called the reviews through this line okay the next line is again i am creating another web mvc link builder web mvc link builder i am saying again link to method on from this class called get customer likes this is a get customer likes another end point another end point this and this particular method generate link like this again customers slash what is that likes likes it will generate then i am adding that links to the resource object resource dot add add this likes link while adding the like link generate one title got likes using the with rel method so now i had added two additional information additional resource to this product app the object one is a reviews another one is a likes once added i want to return i want to return this entire entity model to the client side so i am saying here return new response entity i am passing this resource this resource is what what is the type of the resource this resource type is a entity model entity model parameter type is a product this entity model contain product then uh, reviews and uh, likes i am returning this resource to the client side resource the client side saying with the status http status as a okay through this way we can um, generate uh, additional resources while sending some main resource to the client this is the purpose of hat use now we're going to see the demo api products i want to fetch right a so it's a get method api product i want to call product number one i have product number one here okay product id is one i'll going to invoke this api see here got the response So the product information i got the product information along with that i generated two links one is reviews these are to access the review api likes these are the, to access the likes api both links are generated both links are generated while accessing product information if you want a uh, user uh, see the reviews just click this link it will call the review object if you, if you click this likes it will call the uh, likes uh, likes uh, endpoint okay now here i'll going to click that i'll going to click this click here to open a new tab when you say send it will give the all the reviews again i'll going to click the likes click this it's showing three it's showing three because i have a three review three comments i think i have um, three or two i have three likes i think yeah three likes i have three likes so it's giving me three likes right so like cpi so it's giving three likes yeah this is the about the hat use any questions uh, while opening that uh, link in that new window how the system should recognize that uh, these uh, reviews and likes are related to that particular product because there is no reference in that i believe uh, mm -hmm. When you click that, you are saying how it's working. That that is your question. Yes. Okay. Now I am clicking. Please watch. I am clicking now. Then it's going to the next tab. To opening with the get, right? Huh? 
offer you get if you send as usual right as usual it's giving the data all the reviews okay uh, instead of instead of clicking that uh, uh, is we can copy this endpoint and we can paste it in some other uh, basically it's a get, get point so we can paste it in uh, yeah, yeah, chrome yeah, itself yeah. is it will work it will work basically it will work yeah it's a normal endpoint uh, we my... are a normal endpoint we are using uh, the endpoint as a link in that uh, main resource that's it Okay. My question is, if we have a uh, lots of product in that uh, particular uh, database, if we copy and paste that in that uh, new Chrome uh, window, how the system uh, should recognize that uh, these reviews or comments are related to that particular product? Yeah, the, in such a case, we have to write some additional logic, right? For example, let's say you have a, a ten products, uh, the the okay. client people are writing some program to fetch that uh, ten, 10 products. To fetch so we have to pass that uh, uh, product ID in that uh, path variable, right? Correct, correct. Exactly. Here is a simple program I am saying while calling product, I am saying reviews under likes. Let's say I want to uh, call here one uh, reviews of particular product. Okay. In that, uh, we uh, need to, in programmatically also we can generate a product ID. That is not an issue. We can generate, we can pass slash ID. That is not a matter. We can do that. Uh, so we can do that. Then, so, yeah. then whatever we can do in back and from, we can generate it and give it to the client side. Then from the client side, they can use it accordingly. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to see profiles. Okay, how to work with the profiles. Huh? File, new. I'm creating a new project, okay? File new project from IntelliJ itself. We can do this. Uh, we can create a project. Generally, we'll go, we are going to Spring Starter type. We're doing right for IntelliJ also. We can do for that. We need to install one plugin, okay? Huh? Uh, go to file and the settings. File settings. There is a plugin section. Click the plugin section. Search for Spring. There is a uh, one plugin called Spring Assistant. Select this uh, Spring, Spring Assistant. Click Install. I am already installed, so it's saying Install. Okay. Um, click Install. Then restart the IntelliJ. Then you can create a project from the IntelliJ itself, like FTS. Well, file New Project. When you say File New Project, it's asking Spring Assistant. It's sorry, it, it's showing the Spring Assistant. Select that. Click next. Then I'm going to create a group ID IT Garden. Then profiles example. IT Garden. Then click next. In the web, I want to select Spring Web. Then click next. Then I want to create this project, whatever location you need. I'll going to create this here. Okay, finish, create. Okay, project created now. and make it as application now I want to use some I want to copy and paste I don't want to recreate uh, okay I'll go to take this
Okay. Okay, I don't want, don't need controllers. I'll create a repository and a service. Okay, I'll create this also. Okay, I'll copy controller so you make it everything. Okay. Okay. Then I want to add two dependencies. I want to add two dependencies. One is a data jp and this mysql connector okay just go and reload the project so i have not added the validation validation uh, library so it's giving the error i'll remove all the tag that relates to validation Okay, then column name equal to email. That's okay. Mm. So, project is ready now. Uh, first, we need to know what is the profiles. What is the profiles? Using profile site, we can we can switch one environment to another environment very easily. Let's say I'm, uh, we are as a developer, we are developing a project in local machine. I am connecting uh, locally everything. I have everything in my local machine database. I have if you are using messaging service, that messaging service is also available in local machine. If you are using some other tool, that is also available in local machine. So you are configured everything local machine. Very comfortable. You are developing or developing everything using that local environment. You are completed. Now the the source code. I want to move that source code to the my development machine before testing i want to test my uh, code in my dev, dev server i want to move that uh, code to dev server at the time of moving the dev server whatever configuration you have in this application property application property let me copy that uh, application yaml Whatever configuration here, I have very minimal configuration. In the real time, we have a lot of configuration, right? Um, so, whatever configuration you have, that is specific to your local mission. Okay. At the moment, you are copying the code to the dev server. You start the application; it will never work. It will failure because of those path variable that uh, your local path and uh, uh, DB username and the password. Nothing will match. Totally different. Your local environment is totally different from dev server. Your local environment is totally different from dev server. So it will never work. For that, what you have to do? We have to go and change these properties. Each properties you have to change one by one. Then you have to start the server. If it is everything fine, it will work. Otherwise, plugin failure. Again, you have to go and check what is the problem. Then you have to go and change. So this is the problem, right? Whenever you change one one environment to another environment. You have to work with your configuration properly, then only it will work. Otherwise, you will face, you'll face the issue. You have to spend some time. To avoid this situation, we can use profiles concept. Using profiles very easily, you can switch one environment to another environment. That is the purpose of profiles. Okay. By default, Spring Boot read the configuration from application.yaml file or application.properties. That you know, right? Um, this there is some standards there is some standards we can tell we can say that uh, the the naming convention there is a standards uh, through that standards we can tell these files for dev server this file for this application file for uh, qa server this application file for a production server we can tell that okay this is the uh, purpose of profiles now i'll going to show one simple demo I'll going to create a two database. I'll going to create two databases. One database I call it as a local DB. Another database I call it, call it as a dev DB. Okay, based on my profile, I want to connect the particular DB that I'll going to show. Go to database now. May I have database or what? Mm. Yeah, I have connection. Here I'm going to create a one database. 
two database sorry closer local db local db okay just i'm getting a local db then i'll going to get a one more db dev db okay local db and a dev db two db i created now this two db does not have anything does not have anything okay Now I'm going to uh, copy this entire statement, make it blank. So before copying, I'm going to call uh, copy this. Then I'm going to paste here itself. Then while pasting, I'm going to say iPhone dev. I'm saying application iPhone dev. If you say like this, this application normal file for dev profile, dev environment. Now I'm going to copy this, paste it here. I am saying local. Local. Now I will going to uh, remove this entire stuff. In the application default file, I will going to remove all the configuration. I don't want here anything. Now I keeping it here. Uh, in the application I find I have a set of configuration. The local YAML, I have some set of configuration. I don't have anything here. Just copy it. Okay. Now the application YAML file. I am saying uh, spring dot profiles dot um, active equal to local spring dot profile dot profiles dot active equal to local I am saying that meaning as you know already uh, by default uh, by default, uh, Spring read this application YAML file or application property file. When you start the application, you go and uh, look at the application YAML application or property file. It will go and look at here. I am saying Spring dot Spring dot profiles dot active equal to local. Since I am saying active equal to local, it will go to the local YAML file. It will go to the local YAML file and uh, read the all the files. Read the uh, read the, all the configuration. Based on this configuration. Your application will work. Now I'm going to change here local DB. I created here local DB, right? Local and DB. Now my, my expectation is since I'm making DDL iPhone auto, since I may make it as a DDL iPhone auto, automatically this customer object. What is that customer object? Oh, I changed here. Huh? Sorry, I should not change here. I changed it to the wrong project. Okay. I'll going to change here. Profile example. Okay. Let me close this. I don't want to open. Okay. Spring dot profiles dot active equal to local. I'm saying spring dot profiles dot active equal to local. At the moment you are saying local. When you are saying local, it will it will come to local YAML file and read this read this configuration since i'm mentioning local db it will create a customer table in the local db local db um, here ddl iphone auto update i mentioned ddl iphone auto update right? when you start the application this customer for this customer entity customer table created customer table created in local db because the local YAML file, I mentioned local DB. Why it's reading from the local, uh, local YAML file? In the application YAML file, I mentioned uh, active profile. Uh, active profile is a local. Okay. Let me see the demo now. What's happening? Here, local DB, I don't have any database, uh, any table. In the dev DB also, I don't have uh, any table. Start the server now. So here one table created one table created our expectation is the table must be in 
local must be the local DB because I given active profile equal to local. Here I mentioned local DB, right? Let me check the database. See here, customer table created. Customer table created. When you look at that dev DB, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. So based on the profile uh, um, active profile, it's created. Close all tabs. Application I mentioned the active profile local, so it's reading from the local YAML file and it created the table in this local DB. Okay, now I'll go to change dev. Please remember that whatever value you mentioned your application iPhone. After that, whatever value you mentioned, that is the profile name. Okay, that name you have to provide it. Here I'm saying application iPhone dev. Now I'm saying dev. I'll go to restart the application. The dev we don't have any table now. Okay, so it started. Let me check the database. Application number file mentioned dev, right? D E V E dev. Why is not created? Oh, sorry, I have not changed. I have mentioned only local DB yet, right? I have to change it dev. You got the problem? It's not created the table. The reason is the application dev also, dev I am mentioning a different, uh, sorry, this is correct. In the application dev YAML, I am mentioning training, training iPhone DB. That is wrong. Okay, we need to say dev. Okay, now I mentioned it correctly. Now restart the application. Okay, now you should be the customer table, must be available. See your customer table available. Now, dev DB having a customer table because my current active profile is a dev. The dev YAML file pointing the database called dev db. That's the reason customer table created in dev db. Okay, you understand what is the purpose of profiles now? Profiles is for changing the environment very simply without doing much effort. Okay. If you don't have a profile concept, what you have to do, we need to go each and every property field. Whenever you switch one environment, we have to change all the things. Change all the things. That is a big task. Okay, in the case of real time, here is a very simple. I am doing only one line change. It looks simple, but in the real time, it will be a big headache. Okay. Any questions? Sir, one doubt. Hmm. Uh, with respect to profiles, uh, we concentrate only on the DB, uh, different different DBs in different different environment. Apart from the database, we don't concentrate on any other thing. Using profile. No, 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 not like that. We, we have to focus on everything. Okay, for example, let's say uh, you want to. Uh, this there, there is one scenario. Okay, hmm? there is one scenario. You have to read the data from Excel sheet. You have to read the data from Excel sheet. Then that data you need to load into a particular database. Load into a particular database. For that, let's say file, colon, location. When you develop your local environment, you have to say like this, right? Um, files, files slash, slash path. Some path you have to give. Now when you switch this to dev, here is a different, right? Huh? Here something like that, uh, user, local something will come whatever configuration uh, you're using the local definitely that will be totally different in dev you understand yes sir yes sir and one more doubt sir. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we used yesterday interceptors and filters and today these profiles sir mm -hmm. and uh, no i mean today also we use haters i mean no need of any adding any new dependencies sir Hatios profiles. Hatios, I told right. Hatios, you add. Uh, I told, I think. Yeah, for Hatios, you need to add one startup project. I missed the. Uh, one minute. Let me open the Hatios project. We need to use Hatios library, I told. 
but here for head yours we need to add one artifact one one starter project this is a starter project okay this is the dependency spring boot dot starter started if an at use we need to add this then only we can access those apis sorry okay. if i forgot that to you say okay hmm? okay man. for profiles no need of adding any no, dependent no. profiles no need profiles no need okay, okay. thank you sir hmm. still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video
still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video